Charlie's Roast Pork, Third and Moya Mincing. Another great cheesesteak at Charlie's. Now, everybody knows I ranked this as my top cheesesteak last year in my 20 cheesesteaks for 2020. So, I'm going to flip it over to the judges so you don't have to listen to my biased opinion. March cheesesteak madness continues. Here you go, Dan. Hey! Hi, Quinn. Mark and Diane are already inside, coming to Charlie's Roast Pork. So this is provolone for Angie Roll. But not seeded, right? It is seeded. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I see. Okay. Mushrooms are good. It's good seasoning. I actually like the provolone. Yeah. On this, um, on this one, it's good. Yeah. This is. This was this was how it got such a high rating last year and stuff. Mm. Still, just consistently a good. So this is the same sandwich. as it was last year. Yeah, pretty much. It's consistent. You know, good amount of meat and uh, good m moisture in it. Mushrooms, onions, mixed throughout. Provolone. The rolls holding up. Rolls got a good flavor. Joe made a good choice with the provolone. Yeah. Yeah. The meat is really, I would is never nice. order. It's like it's, it's retained a ton of moisture. The meat itself is juicy. This is a really good cheese stick. I like to see the roll. It's a little bit fatty. See, I'm, I, you know what? I'm liking it. A little moist. My, my roll, you know, spend a little time. Still got a good flavor. Still holding up, but it is kind of like deteriorating just a little bit there. How you doing? My name is Nicky Luke from the original Tony Luke in South Philadelphia. Come on down. We have lunch specials and we have a great time. Come on down to the original Tony Luke's. Thank you. Tony Luke's, the original, South Philly, under I-95. This was a great way to start the day, and apparently a lot of people feel the same way because uh, 9 a.m. and they had a steady flow of customers. And I tell you what, I really enjoyed this stop. Nikki Luke was a phenomenal host. Yeah, the first time I went to Tony Luke's, the only time I went to Tony Luke's, I pretty much knew to the Philadelphia Cheesesteak Adventure, and I was a little nervous about and questioning what I was doing, and uh, it was funny, someone else was there doing a, a TV bit, and so I was all out of whack my first trip to Tony Luke's and this was uh this was a great trip great cheesesteak the rolls arrive par baked and they break them there and what a great touch that is and they had a full menu I can't believe how much stuff they have going on down there under I-95 great stop I enjoyed it here we are Tony Luke's March cheesesteak madness continues the madness continues under I-95 if I'm under I-95 being cheesesteak I can only be in one place with a truck blocking my view, my shot. Tony Luke's, the original. The judges are already inside. Early morning. See ya. This year's roll arrives. Par baked. And we'll finish it here. That's, that's a nice touch. Okay, all right. Here we are. Tony Luke. She's just folded in. And it's a Licio roll. Well, this thing is packed. I think we still got we got some more green onion got working in the. No, there's a spice in here. There's like a like a spice blend. We can mix herbs, spices. On that before. Yeah. It's a little it's a little salty for me. And I'm, I'm not sure where I'm getting it from, but I might be getting it from the mushrooms. Fact. Meat's got a pretty good flavor to it. I think. Um, built nice. Plenty of onions, maybe too many mushrooms. Yeah, I'd say the same. I, yeah, 
similar experience. I think the meat is good texture. Uh, some parts are dry at the top where it's not with the cheese, but a little dry right there, nice and gooey and moist on this side. You know, I know it's the mushrooms because I had one just separate, and that's when I got the first taste of, um, you know, a little bit of salt. Region, yeah. Right? We've got some great cheesesteaks here. Um, Who do we have up, up against each other? We've got Charlie's Roast Pork against Tony Luke's. Ooh, this is a tough one. So, let's see. I mean, you know, Tony Luke's is that, it's that quintessential Philadelphia cheesesteak stand. Right, right on the, right on Oregon Avenue. Um, it's a Philadelphia institution, really. High, high volume, high, high traffic volume area. We were there early in the morning, and, and, and it was there was a constant flow of customers coming in buying their cheesesteaks um, earlier than I've ever eaten a cheesesteak before in my life. So it's like 10 a.m. Uh -huh. There's like 30 people. They've there already already. got a huge following, and, and rightly so. It's a great cheesesteak. Lots of meat. They finished baking the roll in house, so you're getting a fresh. You know, high turnover, like th that that meat is fresh. The rolls are baked in the house. It's a, it's a really fresh cheesesteak. Um, good ingredients, great seasoning, large chunks of mushrooms. Um, but let's not count out Charlie's Rose Pork now. Newer location. Um, don't be fooled by the Rose Pork. Don't be fooled by the Rose Pork name because they definitely the know their way around a cheesesteak. I mean, that. The way that they actually cook their meat with the meat on top of the mushroom and onions so that it actually all melts together and spends time together on the grill and really like yeah. those flavors come together. I mean, that to me really stood out and you got that as soon as you, you know, in your first bite. Um, great spot. I think that, I don't know, I think that would be a tough call between the two. Well, they're opening a beer garden next door, so they've got they've got the garage doors, they've got a nice bar, hey, so it's, it's the restaurant, it's the bar, um, great place to come and sit. Uh, hopefully, they're going to have some TVs out there. Or, yeah. You can, yeah. You can rent the cabanas out there, so a nice place to eat, but, but as far as the cheesesteak go, I agree. It, it was delicious. And uh, they the, used the provolone. The meat was, was awesome. The provolone was rich and and, and really tasty. It worked well. Um, top, you know, they have long pots. They have cherry peppers. That all went really well pots. with those pro, with that provolone yeah. cheese. Um, I think that sandwich ate a little. I have to be honest. I just think it ate a little bit better than Tony Luke's. Um, I mean that it, it all melted together. They know their way and how they how they cook it. That roll was perfect. The I gotta give it roll, the grangy seated roll. It's a cringy. It's, it's, it's become one of my favorites. Yes. I definitely so, know my way around some bread now. Yeah. I give my vote to Charlie's Roast Pork as well. Both great sandwiches. Charlie's was just just a stronger preference for me. I'm going with the smaller guy, not the institution this time. I'm definitely going Charlie's. That's it. It's my vote too.